Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. It is a lovely Saturday and I have been enjoying the day. Um, as you can tell, I just did my uh, highest intention spread to, uh, to Jeff. And so now I, um, I spent the day at a couple of my metaphysical shops. And so uh, one of the goodies I found were, I love these stones that have words on them. So I've got one that says wellness and the other one says balance. And this is like, got some, the shop owner wasn't sure if it was Labradorite in it, but can you see the flash? So um, I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, wellness, because that's what I'm, I'm focusing on is wellness and balance. So I love these little stones that have the words on them. They're great for intention settings. I got a new deck of cards. I have been waiting for this one for a very long time and today I decided to get it. The Secret Language of Animals Oracle Cards. Um, I'm still doing animal work. I think the animals are going to be with me through throughout the year. I don't think that was just a, a one-off. I, I think this is going to be a a long-term study is what it's starting to to feel like so um, I've got quite a few animal decks but this one has been on my list for for quite some time so I did take the um, the wrapping off um, and it's you know the usual good uh, blue angel box um, nice chunky guidebook it looks like I'm excited for this one because I've been Ooing and on for a while now. So they give you an introduction using the card, single card reading. Oh, they have a medicine wheel spread in here. How cool. That's very cool. They also have an elemental spread and a to totem vision. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Then it goes into the meaning of the cards. And they're broken down by, uh, by elements, water, earth, air, fire. Um, it talks about the card itself and then the, the meaning. And so it looks like you get two pages. Um, yeah, two pa at least two pages with each, with each card. So that's pretty cool. And then it looks like it has a mantra or an an affirmation at the at the end so that's pretty cool let's see what do we have in the back here wow so they have in the back they have endangered animal insights wow wow that's cool. They have they have a ton of different uh, animals that are endangered, and then of course it it gives a list of foundations and things that you can uh, contribute to, uh, if you so choose. So, I think that's great. That's great. Okay, now to the cards. Of course, I love Blue Angel cards because they're just. I like the um, the sturdiness of the cards, and they're sturdy. Ooh, hear the crack? So they're a little sticky, sticky, but that's okay. I'm all right. They get better with use, I have found out. So I'm just going to crack them in and, and see what happens here. Okay. Yeah, the card stock is, I mean, heft. Hefty cardstock, definitely. So we have water. Oh. Do feed the polar bear. Oh, these are even more beautiful in person. I always knew the cards were going to be stunning, but salmon. I am a salmon. 
I am a salmon. What does it say? Faith, determination, independence, change. I'm a salmon. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Dugong? Never heard of a dugong. Hmm. They are glossy, but they're not too glossy. They've got a little bit, but not too much. I don't think they're too heavily glossed. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, baby. This is the one that is on the front of the box. Wow. These paintings are just unreal. I mean, talk about realistic. Wow. Wow. I'm trying to hold them so the not too much glare. Wait, right now. My elephant. That is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Ugh. Nick. We don't like Nick's. I know Nick serves a purpose, but I would rather hang out with a lizard than a snake. Ooh, that's a beauty. That's a beautiful feather. Oh, wow. Yeah, the cards are a little stucky, stucky. Look at the eagle. When you get these cards up close, I mean, the artwork is just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. The pedican, the pedican is my friend. I actually have a pelican feather here. This is a pelican feather that um, one actually gifted to me when I was taking care of one of my ships. It landed right at my feet as I was uh, walking down the pier. And he had been over there print you know, pruning himself or preening or whatever birds do when they pluck feathers. And so I knew it was from him. So, of course, I thanked him kindly. And I just love it. Fairy wrens. The chase card. <laughs> Oh, a very good friend of the spiritual garage, the crow. The crow hangs out at the spiritual garage all the time. I have one in particular that comes by. Wow. Okay. Wild horse. Ooh. Dragonfly. a unique looking spider. Gecko! Butterfly. Ooh, okay. Now that's interesting. We have jellyfish, but not that kind of jellyfish. Orange blossom jellyfish. What the hell? Orange bellied parrot. <clears throat> Don't have those, but we do have 
uh, some wild parrots here. Apparently, the story goes that there was some guy who was smuggling parrots in from Mexico, and a couple of them got away and flew away, and they have continued to proliferate um, in this area since. So, yeah. There's not many. There's only a handful, like maybe eight or ten. Every time I see a wolf, I either think of uh, my friend Sunny or I think of my friend Goran. Um, Goran is a wolf man and Sunny is a wolf woman. <laughs> well, they love lots of animals, but I know Goran's partial to wolves. That could be my boyfriend. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Tree frog. <laughs> I remember the stick insect insects from back home scared the bejesus out of me. <clears throat> Red squirrel. Koala. Ooh. Black cockatoo. That's a beautiful bird. And then, of course, <clears throat> Mother Gaia herself. Whoa! I am so excited. These cards are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and they're big. Let's see how they... Oh, it's not bad. Once you get the cards apart, they do pretty good. Yeah, I can't... Uh, these are definitely too big for me to shuffle like sideways like I normally do. So I have to shuffle these from like top to bottom. So that's okay. I wonder if they would, um, let's see. Let me give this a try. This has been my newest thing is uh, the corner riffle. Oh, well, that's not too bad except when you get it started. Let's see. can use a little work, but that's all right. I'll still take it. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pull a card. Let's see what I got here. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Buckle. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Let's see. What card are we going to get here? So, we are going to get the polar bear. Solitude, friendship, strength, and resilience. Solitude, friendship, strength, and resilience. Wow, that sounds awesome. So, spend some time alone. Probably friend some, spend some time with friends. Kind of gather your energies together, I think, and um, you know to to meet what's what's coming up in the in the week. So that's my thoughts on this. Let's see what the book has to say here. So we're at Polar Bear, which is number three. And the message, amid the, woo. So it says, amidst the pressures and extremes of daily life, sometimes we can lose sight of where we are going. Polar Bear brings you the gift of inner strength and the ability to move with great power and intelligence beyond what may have limited you in the past into the full experience of that which calls you now. How about that? That's great. Now the mantra is, I am anchored in my center and aligned with my purpose. When I am still, I am quiet within. When I move, I move with great power. I am purity in motion, endurance in the night. I am inner strength and wisdom and full expression of my light. Love it. 
Polar Bear says, speak your truth, find constructive ways to express the emotions. Yeah, this is a kick-ass card, man. Love it. All right, guys, there you go. The Secret Language of Animals Oracle Cards. I am going to have so much fun with these. These are going to be great. All right, guys, much love. I'll see you next time.